Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kate, or I go by Always More Sims here on YouTube, and today we are doing a speed build. Um, I'm trying to get back into doing speed builds, but and it's definitely going to help. I'm getting close to um, the end of the third generation of my Sims 4 I'm a Lover Challenge, which means we'll be coming back to The Sims 3. Um, and this house is actually a house I intend on using down the line. For this upcoming generation of my for every generation there's a genre challenge or the fig challenge as i call it um but yeah this house is kind of out of my comfort zone um i was messing with as you could see or I, you can see i was messing with the uh, constrained floor elevation stuff um so the house looks like it is three floors and it Technically, it's not. Um, the space below, like in the foundation, um, I don't have anything down there. It is all empty, and I don't even know if it's technically accessible. Um, I mean, if you really wanted to try, you could probably put something down there. Um, expand if you really wanted to. I, I just didn't bother. Um, and I really, I just needed two bedrooms. I didn't need the whole basement. I didn't know what I would put in the basement. It wasn't my intention to have a basement. So I just left it empty down there. Um, now there is a hot tub on the back patio deck area. And like all the stuff that like sits under the hot tub in The Sims 3 is like in that like or I'm gonna call it a crawl space it's in that crawl space below um but other than that there's nothing down there so this is a two bedroom two bathroom house there's a laundry room um there's a garage like the garage is huge because it's it's a full story and then it's that you know three-fourth height foundation um so I did kind of mess with things at one point like there so I eventually put columns on like a column like I stacked two columns on the front of the house and it really made me wish I had the ability to like raise objects like you can in The Sims 4 um, because with the like bottom level being like a certain like not being the same height as the actual main floor it like really messed with things um, this house, I used, like, four different, like, wallpapers or whatever on the front. So, I have, like, two different kinds of, um, like, brick. I have, like, wooden panels, and then I have, like, a white stone, like, a white cement, almost. Um, I will say, using those, like, bump out, like, really big, quote-unquote, columns on the front was a great way to hide the fact that the walls were all, like, <laughs> like, they do that slope thing because I had to make that wall the, the proper height to be able to fit the garage door um but those like not real bump out column things that are painted black on the front um those are a great way to hide those slopey walls um I don't know I I'm actually pretty happy with how this house turned out uh the our air for this upcoming generation um, is going to be a doctor. Uh, his name is actually Reed for Dr. Spencer Reed. <laughs> um, and he is supposed to, like, he's only supposed to have one kid. And he, even though Spencer Reed is not a medical doctor, and the, like, the challenge requires that, like, that's part of the, the rules for this upcoming generation that he is a medical doctor, but... I wanted him to have like his first name to start with an R because all of his siblings were either R or K and so it went K R K R and I'm like well I could call him Reed and then I'm like that's so funny to have a medical doctor and be like he's Reed but Spencer Reed isn't a medical doctor but he's gonna be a medical doctor like in the game and, like I just I don't know I amused myself so I'm like I'm gonna do it um this house also is has a green and like a rich earthy brown like that's the like the color scheme and I <laughs> I can't help that what I think of when I like see this color scheme all I can think of is Hiccupatic from um 
How to Train Your Dragon. Because, like, Hiccup just always wear, like, at least in the first movie, and I don't really watch the second movie, and I refuse to watch the third movie. Um, but, like, in the first movie, like, Hiccup wears, like, this, you know, foresty green color, and then, like, he's got, like, the auburn hair and the brown vest, and I don't know, just, like, the colors just make me think Hiccupatic. Um, I, I, I will admit that. Uh, so... I don't know what else to say about the house. Um, I have some stuff put down for a dog, but it'd be really easy to, you know, add a litter box for the cat. I did realize I always forget something. Um, I forgot to go around and put, like, the little decorative items that I like to do at the end in the kitchen and, like, the little pen jar thing on the desk. I didn't do those. And then I forgot to put lights at the bottom of the staircase. So those are going to be two things you'll have to fix. And then if you want to, like, paint that crawl space down below, that will need to be painted because I didn't paint the walls and I didn't put, like, anything over the grass in that crawl space below. So if you look in through the windows, you can see the grass and you can see, um... I believe I still have the house. Oh no, you can see the brick. Like it looks like I painted the walls white somehow. No, it's not, and that's not it. It's, it's just because the windows are like at that level that they're actually on the floor. Like you can see a bit of the floor through the windows. Uh, anyways, it's not that big a deal. <laughs> that's really not that noticeable. Um, I want to update you guys on my computer situation. <laughs> I don't remember what exactly happened when I left off last. Um, I. So, I'm trying to remember exactly what. I don't know. I just, I guess just all you, all I really need to tell you is that uh, the computer got re, uh, returned. I got refunded for it. I've gotten numerous emails from the supplier being like, hey, you haven't sent it back for repair yet. Because I was supposed to send it in for repair. And by then I decided, I'm like, I'm not going to do that. Um, I don't want to wait, like, be without a computer for so long, only for you to either determine that the prob- like, there is no problem, even though you've told me there's a problem now, for, like, me to send it in, for them to say there's no problem, or not to- for them not to actually fix the problem, and I still have a computer with, like, a really crappy battery, so there was, like, an early Black Friday se sale, I was, like, I combined sale and deal, there was, like, an early Black Friday sale on- Amazon and I actually ended up buying a MacBook Air because MacBooks are notorious for having really good batteries. Um, and I actually started my channel using my mom's dinosaur <laughs> of a MacBook Pro. Um, I call it my dinosaur. It is really heavy. It is, um, it has to basically live on the charger because the battery is really bad on it, but that's because this computer is, um, eight years old and, um, no, it's 10 years old. My mom got, in, got it in 2012 and then I was given it in 2014. Uh, and that is what I started my YouTube channel with, was playing with the dinosaur. <laughs> I played on this MacBook Pro until I was like, I'm going to update it. Um, cause it was always telling me like, you should update the software, update the software. And at the time EA hadn't like made another patch for the game to make it so I could still use it after updating it to this software. And so it broke the game. I couldn't play it anymore. And then I basically had to wait until I got an actual computer to be able to play The Sims again. So that was like, it was like a five month hiatus I had to take from my channel because I couldn't play Sims because my computer could no longer open it. Um, but yeah, the dinosaur, it actually sits on my bookshelf behind me. It still actually works. Um, however, it was not one of those things that I wanted to lug to school with me. And when it was in its heyday, the computer worked really well. Um, like the battery lasted really well and um, I really liked the Mac and I've used MacBook, like not MacBooks, but like the actual like Mac PCs. I've used those in like classes before and like I really like Macs, but they are really expensive because you know, it's Apple and stuff like that, but they were on sale and I was, I actually only ended up paying about $50 more for that than I did for the laptop I had originally purchased. So, yeah, it's all resolved. I have I have a laptop that I'm really happy with it. It works really well for me. It does everything I need it to do. Um, it is really it's, it's so I'm so I'm always so shocked when I pick it up. I'm like this thing is so light, um, and that's more just because 
I see the the Apple logo on the top. I'm like, this thing's going to weigh a ton because I'm so used to like my dinosaur weighing a ton. It's like carrying around a brick. Um, but anyways, very happy with that. Did I explain why I'm, why this house is for down the road? I don't think I did. Um, <laughs> I'm all over the place. I apologize. So Reed is, I, I intend on moving into like a, a big city world. So like, um, oh no, I just forgot what, it, mm, what is, what is? Bridgeport. I was wanting to say Bridgerton. I'm like, that's not it. That's a show. Um, no, Bridgeport. Uh, so, like, a town either, like, either we will move to Bridgeport or move into a town like Bridgeport because one, this upcoming generation, um, Riedel is only supposed to have one kid. He'll only have one child. And, uh, so, like, big city worlds are extremely laggy because they are typically bigger worlds. Like, Bridgeport isn't really that big, but it has a lot of bigger buildings in it, and so it tends to be laggier and not run as well. And then, like, custom content worlds that are big city worlds or have big city, like, parts. Um, like, there's a bunch of My Sims Realty worlds that are, that have, like, big city. Like, it's on, like, one side of the mountain is very, like, you know... Um, small town, cutesy, neighborhood, suburban, and then on the other side of the mountain is, you know, like, this huge industrial city with, like, the skyscrapers and stuff like that, and it's really cool, but I always, like, stay away from those worlds because they are so extremely laggy because, okay, this is putting, like, taking both Sunset Valley and Bridgeport and, like, putting them together, and so it's normally a very large city, it normally is a very laggy thing, and the more sims you have, the laggier a world will get. Um, so, like, when I've had, that's normally when I would do Perfect Genetics or 100 Baby Why I would always move worlds because I would have so many Sims that I was pushing out into the world. Um, well, that my Sims was <laughs> literally pushing out into the world, but, like, that we were evicting and, like, kicking out. The world would get so laggy because I just was putting so many Sims in it. And so, I was like, well, this is a good, you know, chance for me to use, like, a big city world because I only... Um, I'm only going to have one kid, and I don't know if Reed has to get married in this upcoming generation. I don't remember. Hold on. Be a medical career, have one kid, read only medical journals, have genius trait. There's, like, very little require, like, very few requirements. Um, in your parents' fantasy books, the characters sometimes died ever since you were small, you were you despised death and illness. You instead wanted to make people well so there would be less chance of them dying. So, like, honestly, there's not much of a story. I feel like the next generation is kind of a stretch, uh, to be honest. It's going to be a very short generation. Hi, Zoe Zoom. Uh, there's not going to be a whole lot to it. I'm going to be, you know, probably done with the generation. I would give it 15, 20 parts. And that even might be really generous, because we only have to have one kid. And it's not like Reed has to reach a certain level of the medical career. He doesn't have to, like, wait until he's a certain age, or he's reached a certain level to, like, get married or have kids. Like, basically, if I really wanted to, I could have Reed age up into a young adult, move to the new world, have, like, find somebody, have a kid with them, a, like, play through this kid's, like, life age them up into a young adult and be done. I could do that itself in like five, ten parts. Um, and I don't really know how I want to do this. Oh no. <laughs> no, George, don't do it. Um, I really like and enjoy Criminal Minds. However, I have not gotten past season six. Um, I was like, really into watching it and then I fell off because I knew that season six was a really difficult season for Spencer um and Spencer is my favorite character and it became one of those things that I just kept like putting off starting season six because I'm like I need to be like ready for it and then I just I was never really ready for it and <laughs> hold on <laughs> I apologize her hearing is going she's starting to lose her hearing so when like I call out for her she doesn't hear me um, anyways, I, I haven't finished Criminal Minds, and I keep telling, like, they took it off of Netflix back in June, 
and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to finish the series before they take it off. And then it was put back on Netflix like a couple months later, and I don't know if it's actually still on Netflix. It's possible it might have been taken off again because they, they've done like the reboot series over on Paramount Plus, so I don't know if the show has been moved solely to be on Paramount. I don't know. Um, I know it was on Hulu at one point, but I just have never actually gotten around to finishing it. Um, and like getting any for I've watched like the first like two episodes of season six and like that was it and that was because I didn't realize I'd actually started season six because Spencer still has long hair at the very beginning of season six and then he chops it all off which personally is my favorite look for Spencer Reed is when he's got his hair really short um anyways so like I don't I know that at one point there is a girl that he's like in some kind of relationship it's like starts with an m it's like mavis or something like that is her name and i don't really know how i feel about her i personally was a big fan of spencer and lila in the like the one episode in season one it was literally one episode and what makes this worse is the fact that lila was played by amber heard and you know we, we do not like amber heard um however like i i kind of enjoyed the concept of this like really popular girl you know this this hollywood you know superstar or like i guess not superstar because that's more like music but you know actress that like every guy you know probably dreams of has you know posters of her on her on their walls you know liking Spencer like I really liked you know that that um that kind of cliche trope I was a big fan of that and before the whole like you know Amber Heard Johnny Depp thing I was actually I th I thought Amber Heard was you know rather pretty again I don't support her at all anymore and you know I no longer think she's pretty but you know years ago it was like, and when I first started watching through the series, I'm like, oh my gosh, like, I, I love that for Spencer, like, him having somebody who actually likes him for him, even though, you know, you know, she's kind of out of his league, and that, that kind of thing, so, like, maybe I'll make a Lila character, maybe I'll even name her Lila, but we're just gonna put a heavy emphasis on the fact that I do not like Amber Heard, I'm not supporting Amber Heard, um, I just like the character, um, of Lila, so I don't know, I don't know what I'll do, but here we go taking pictures of the inside, I used a lot of the stuff, like, a lot of the different stones and wood paneling from the outside and put it inside, um, I used that green, so, like, the room does it is a lot small like feels a lot smaller because that color is so dark but I kind of like it I don't think Spencer would actually have this modern of a house um he will move into this house once he has his kid uh, which is why I left that one room blank but we will be living in an apartment or a townhouse or something up until that I just wanted something different I actually think Spencer tends to lean towards the more old-fashioned things but I don't know I was like I'm gonna test myself we're gonna do a little bit of outside of the box and I quite like it so I hope you guys do too you can download it down below please give credit if you use it thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video bye guys